once the Cold War ended and uh, the Soviet Union ended up, you know, there began a lot more scientific exchange between the U.S. and Russia. And one of the outcomes of that was is the geology started getting access to a lot more of the geological studies from Russia. And that's a big chunk of the Earth's surface, right? Oh, yeah. People want to look it up. It's called the Altai Flood. What do we start seeing there? Same thing. There's a whole region up there that was subjected to flows, catastrophic flows, on the same scale as the Missoula floods. Wow. We're talking 700, 800 million cubic feet per second. And that's the, dated around the same time? Well, apparently. But I've recently gathered a lot of the available information, and I've archived it, and I've not yet gone through it. But the preliminary... Uh, examination of this and the dating suggests that, yeah, it was commensurate with the melting in North America. Wow, that would have been a bad period of time to be around. Yes, it would have.